So today we're going to be doing a glueless full lace install, well frontal lace. And over here you guys can see I'm just sewing on the elastic band to the wig itself. And our full lace wigs and our frontal lace wigs come with combs. So exactly where the side combs are is exactly where you're going to be sewing on the elastic band. skin tone with the foundation that I get from Ruby Kisses and I'm just going to be applying that all over the front of the lace wherever it's going to be seen on her and I'm just matching to make sure that it matches her complexion as you guys can see and I get this from Amazon I don't know the price but I'll put it in the description below Just fixing up her part a little bit, making it more defined, and I'm also going to be making sure that the lace is pulled all the way forward so that we're not on her hairline because even though this is glueless and it's not glue, so we're not going to be gluing down anything on her skin or anything like that, but we just want to make sure it's ahead of the hairline. That so pull that baby forward make sure it's all the way there. Okay, now I'm just get some loving alcohol and I'm gonna be cleaning her forehead because when you use the mousse, you don't want anything to make it lift. And then you're just going to blow dry that.
here we're just gonna be cutting around the ear which is the first thing that you want to do before you cut any other part of the lace just to make sure that it sits comfortably over your client's ears now I'm sectioning off the baby hairs and exactly what, where I want the baby hairs to be, how thick I need them. So first I'm going to be doing the sideburns and honestly it's up to, it's your preference and also what your client wants. If they want exaggerated baby hairs, she does not want them too exaggerated, she just wants them to be very natural. That's my best friend guys. So, yes, um, yeah, so natural baby hair, so you section them off, depending on where you actually want to place them. Everyone has different baby hair placements. Some people don't do the middle one, some people don't do sideburns, everyone's different. So you're just going to section them, off, section them off wherever you feel is needed. Okay, now I'm going to start actually cutting the baby hairs off with my razor. And we're just going to do section by section. Some people cut them all off and then they actually like style them and everything. I do section by section. And so that's what we're doing here.
I get this from my vendor. And if you guys want to know the vendor, just contact me, be like beauty bar at gmail.com. So I'm gonna be placing and styling baby hairs now with the wrap bone. The more wrap bone that you use, the easier it is to style the baby hairs. I know they say that less is more, but in this case, more is good. <laughs> so you wanna have a decent amount of foam wrap that you can work with. definitely helps with the melting process especially because when I actually use glue and it's not actually melting but this definitely helps way more than using the satin tie only because it gives it a tighter grip so now I'm going to be I'm gonna get my shears and I'm gonna be cutting some layers because we're gonna do some big bouncy curls and for us to do that it looks much better when you have layers in your hair rather than if it's just straight. start from the back I section off the hair and I'm gonna start cur the curling process and when you are curling you want to make sure that you're going in opposite direction so you're curling how do I explain it like depending on which side you're on if I'm starting on my left side I'm gonna be curling going inwards and then on the right side, you're going to be doing the opposite.
take off the messy pen and we finish the curls. These are our final results. And then we're gonna fluff out the curls. We obviously have to take some selfies. And yeah, guys, this is our finished look. If you guys want me to do a glue method using boat hold, please let me know down in the comments below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know what else you guys are looking to see in my channel. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.